Because, you know, in all honesty, if there is, uh, there's general bad politics on corruption in both Western and Eastern pol pol um, politics, how can we ever move forward to the betterment of the future? Agreed. But some countries are like crazy bad compared to others. Like, which countries do we know of where the leaders of com country are try to improve the lives of their citizens, right? Trying to improve the lives of the citizens. Like, if you look at Russia, like Putin bad, right? Consider where Russia was in the 1990s and where Russia is now, 2024. Putin has been in power 25 years, all right? Putin took over a Russia, which was, you know, this term they don't use anymore, third world nation, where people were selling underwear in the streets, where mafia was coming. Uh, take, take a look at uh, Scott Ritter explained it incredibly well, where Jeffrey Sachs had a hand to play in it. I like Jeffrey Sachs now, but back then, he's he fucking, his policies advising Russia, Russian state, right? What to do with the policies where they cut the pensions of, uh, of Russian citizens and the mob came in and started executing the old people take like those are the oligarchs that the West s supported right when they say Russian oligarchs the fucking Russian oligarchs were created by the Western world in the 1990s that were devastating Russia right Putin came in and got rid of a lot of those Western oligarchs right there's sure Russian Eastern oligarchs there now but they're actually working they're not they're not annihilating Russians Right? They're working for the betterment of Russians, right? So standing and living in Russia in the last 25 years is fucking like, if it was a company, you go, whoa, what a great company, exploding, lives improving, right? Huge. China has brought out in the last 30 years, has brought up, what is it, 400 million people out of poverty? That's no fucking joke, right? Sure, they're Chinese. They've impoverished other countries, <laughs> Right? So people say, oh, they brought 400 million people out of poverty. Sure, it's a huge plus. However, you also have to consider that the actions, the way it was done, it put a lot of other people into poverty. I don't know what the, what the balance is, right? I'm pretty sure way more came out of poverty than went into poverty, okay? If you don't consider the color of their skin or the language or their religion, human being is a human being, right? So you have to look at the nations. Like, I wouldn't live in China. It's totally surveilled uh, nations going in that direction anyway, right? But Canada is going the same direction, right? But Russia and China brought people out of poverty. Of poverty In Canada, people are going into poverty. Huge, huge. Same with the United States. So you have to look at the world and see where nations, leaders of nations are working for their own citizens not for outside organizations, right?